Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money in the Law, My FM 101.3, here at the uh, at the home of the, the heart of Milford, uh, at the uh, My FM studio, and also we are once again the heartbeat of Milford. Once again, we are back on Halls and K Blacks as we are on TV again because Tom Harmon is back. Yes, yes, he is back. Came off the IR and he is back full he throttle. Is back. He is yep. Back. It was uh, there was a report this week. The injury report came out said Tom is questionable and. Here he is right Dang, now. Yep. He's ready. He shows he's up, ready to go. You know why? Because it's the playoffs. Game it's ready. It's the playoffs. Game ready. He's Speaking ready. of the playoffs, there's a team in the playoffs, and there's not a team in the playoffs. No. Giants, Patriots. We're gonna, and today, today you're what you're listening and or watching this on Saturday, which so, is yeah. this is game day. This yeah, is game day for game my day G's. Is right. Yep. They're uh, you know they're, you know they're they're the they're the dog in this fight, right? Because Philly well, Philly got the bye. Giants are going to play them in Philly. You never beat a team three times in the NFC. It's kind of a rule. All right. So here we go. We'll Giants lost two. We'll we will what see what happens. It's so be um, a game changer. So what's new with you? Uh, what's new with me? Not too much. No. Not too much. No. Just get back. I was uh, traveling for work last week. Yep. I was down in the great state of Texas. It's funny when you travel for work, like Mr. Hometown Lawyer Guy, and you're like, yeah, I'm traveling for work. work trip. <laughs> get a work trip. Get a work trip. Yep. Right, like the old days. You even know, better. Yeah. Even better. You you roll by the office when I'm heading out to my work trip, and what's sitting in front of my office? What? A town car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you do, You went out on town oh. car? Oh, you went, Always. That's I don't I'm... drive the airport anymore. <laughs> a town car. So you're driving along, you're like, why is there a black 700-foot Tahoe so parked cool. in front of 847 Washington <laughs> right. Street? Right, because you need that Tahoe for yep. you and you. <laughs> me me in a shoulder bag. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, my, that's funny. So uh, we talk about luggage, right? We talk about traveling. Yep. My, my luggage is the same luggage I've had for the last 35 oh, years. Oh, yes. And, it, and it, was a, it was a gift for me, but it was this bright red, like, mountain climbing backpack. You know, like I'm a mountain climber. Sure. Like, I, yeah. I spend a lot of time, you know, climbing mountains, hiking in the mountains, which I don't, yep. um, and nor have I ever. But I have this red, ma- and that's. But the, you know, the best thing about it when it's on the when it's on the uh, you the, first the carousel. You, you a check bag guy? Well, if I have to, yeah. It takes well, an, it takes an act of God for me to check a bag. It takes an act of God for me not to check a bag. Well, we check a bag if we go somewhere because usually when we go somewhere, there's going to be someone's buying something. Like right. they're bring, they're coming back with more sure. than they came. So sure. I always have to. There's always a backup bag. So, and, and, and I I love traveling. Love traveling. There's a little bit. You know, it's different, right? There's a little stress. You know, you you you, you they announce. You know, depending on your airline. You know, they announce that. You know. Um, it's 24 hours before your flight. You are free to book your, you know, like yeah. jump in and lo- like and basically, you know, get your pre-boarding all squared away. And like, if if you're sitting there waiting for that email to come in, right, and the minute that email comes in, you dive into whatever the website is. Yeah. Inevitably, you get there, and the first thing you see is, I'm sorry, all your complimentary seats have been filled, taken, mm. and given away. So if you'd like to actually get a seat on this plane that you thought you were getting such a super deal on for your flight ticket. Get out your credit card so we can oh, actually yeah. book power another up. seat. Yeah, you can actually pa- pay for the seat you already paid for. Let's power it up. Pay for it twice. It's funny because so my sisters travel quite a bit, so sure. they're they're the pros. Yeah, and it's funny. I, and I don't know about you, but I'm you know I've traveled plenty, but I'm I'm still like always like, should I buy this plane ticket? Like it's always like I'm about to do it, and you're like, oh. well, if I do it, and then I can't undo right. Where my my sisters will buy four plane tickets. They'll be like boom 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 boom. No, and, and they'll be it, they'll be on the phone with like one airline yeah. while they're booking it, and they're like, oh yeah, so I'm. You know, chit chat, just to see what like to sure. save twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that. And the other thing that amazes me is, you know, you get to the, you get to the jetway, and you're waiting for your flight to board, and about oh, I don't know, thirty seconds after they announce that the flight is now boarding, you get the, I'm all the overhead bins are full, so anybody who's even thinking about getting on this flight, good luck <laughs> to you carrying anything other than a bottle of water yeah. or a and diet that, Dr Pepper. Even that, it's got to fit below your seat. Yeah, <laughs> and I, that's that's become my move. Like my move is, I, I have a. A diet point, Dr Pepper. Well, not Dr. I was going to say. I have, I have a duffel. Who, I have who a drinks duffel that? Bag, I have a duffel bag <laughs> that has just enough room. I, have, I mean, I, I roll that. I roll those clothes. Yep. I mean, they are. Yeah, that's, they that's are. Jason Bourne packing. Yep, yeah. they are tight, yep. right? And I roll those, and that becomes just basically a shoulder bag, and that goes right under the seat in front yeah. of me, and I'm not stressing about that overhead load. Oh, there's the guy who's sitting in, like, row 98, mm. but he wants to drop his bag. Right at, right above your head in yeah. first class to be like, well, I'm not carrying yeah, this all row the way seven. To the back. I'm, I'm just going to drop this right and here. And it'll be I'll easier just, for me on I'll the way out. I'll pick it up on yeah. my way out. I don't forget about you guys, you know. Um, so. Have you ever lost luggage? Have you ever had luggage lost? 
Like uh, like check bags lost. Actually, we did, going to Ireland. We had a problem with mm. our luggage. It could it could somehow waylaid. And then what was nice about it was the uh, the the airline actually delivered it to our hotel. So we kind of went out and you know did a little sightseeing, and we come back, and your luggage is there. And I that's thought to not myself, bad. I lose my luggage all the time if yeah. this is what happens. This is this is a piece of cake. Well, if it if it were only always that easy. Oh yes. So we lost some luggage once, and um, we were we were in a non we were in we we're in a non English speaking place. So the guy who sh- who so again, and this is now remember, and you understand, you're tra- I'm traveling with four girls, right? Yeah. Who need their stuff? Like oh, like this stuff, like stuff in that luggage right? they need. Yeah. And and the worst part is my wife will she'll be like, oh, we don't have any stuff, and she'll get her credit card and I'll have to, like grab it out of her hand. She's like, oh, let's go. I'll buy everything I need right now. Yeah. Like, I, 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 yeah, yeah, please yeah, don't. yeah. But so we, we, we lost some luggage and uh, it was, it was funny because we, the place we were staying at was kind of on this hill. So at like whatever midnight, the luggage rolls in. But the luggage roll is being delivered by these guys who speak Bulgarian, nice. and I'm like, yeah. right, and we're like, and literally, I'm Google. That's a Jason tra- Bourne movie. Yep, and I'm Google Translate, and these are two big dudes, right? Yeah. And they, and they roll. First of all, two big, not, you know, non English speaking guys like these Bulgarian guys roll up to your house that you're renting, it's right? And they roll up, and you're like, who are you guys? And they're like, uh, 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 and they're like pointing to the luggage. So we had to do, but. The, the the truck that they had was too big for the driveway. Sure. And I've, I've, I saw a guy do a, it was literally a 19-point turn. And it was the, one of the most amazing things. I'm like, how did you not drive that truck? And he's, oh, it's okay. I did. And then we're yeah. like Google Translate. Are you okay? Can you do this? And he's like, oh, yes, I can. It was, oh, my yeah, God. It was all, all from luggage. You a TSA pre-check guy? No, but I want to be. Oh. Are you? Yes. Oh, yes, I do. That, I do that, want to. That, yeah, that'll, that, that's a that game will, changer. That, will, that, will, change, that yeah. will change your life. That will fundamentally alter you in a deep and personal way <laughs> that you will that never, make, you won't even be the same person ever are again. Are you TSA pre-flight? Tom is not pre- TSA pre He's going. we got to get there. And. Well, you, you, you got to pass that security check, too. So well, maybe be a problem. six more months when you come off of that. And you know where you can get it taken care of. Like, you go to Staples and Natick, they hook you up. Staples and Natick. Yeah. I mean, we'll let's talk go. offline. We'll yeah. talk offline. We're they're, not going to talk about not online. A, they're not a sponsor, but yeah, I mean, yeah, they we, could. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they could be. But uh, yeah, that's a game changer. We're talking about TSA pre-check. Changer. Yep, yeah. that's a game changer. All right. So. Speaking of game changers, yes, uh, please I know do. what I want to talk about today. All right, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. So, and and I'm interested in your feedback on this. So, okay, I'm, so I'm gonna. Oh, tell me first, and I'll give you my feedback. <laughs> tell me what you think right now. <laughs> yeah, got it. Got it. You get, so, what. I, so what I want to talk, I want to talk a little about you being a, an entrepreneur yourself. Ooh. You start your own. I want to talk a little bit about entrepreneurship, but but actually not even entrepreneurship, but just the 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 idea of when you, when when a company is in like so you and I let's say let's say you're you're a lawyer, right? So yep, you're a, I am. you're a lawyer, and are there any other lawyers that do what you do nope. in uh, in the greater probably? You know, no, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, none, none right? Just I'm the only state right. planner in Massachusetts, <laughs> right? So the, obviously you're being facetious. You aren't. There, are, there are plenty sure, of you, a right? Lot of us, yeah. So it's and, and the same thing as financial planner. There's, there, you know, there, I always say there's like hundreds of thousands of guys just like us yep. that that do essentially the same thing or many of the same things that yeah, we not do. as well, but yeah. Well, yeah. right. So so the idea is so do you do you want to uh, uh, you know are you are you one of those people that want to compete with that that want to be able to how do you how you compete with your peers how Got you it. compete with uh with the like kind of your contemporaries and how you know why someone would choose you and your law firm over somebody else and then the idea of of you as a as a bit and you're you're into business development and, and us as well so as a business de- when you're developing your business and you're looking for new opportunities how do you kind of find those like spaces those like, like how do you find those spaces where people like that aren't that, that are like a service model that's sure. not existing how do okay. you how do you look and find those so i want to talk about that because there's you know in our business like i said we compete with everybody how do you differentiate yourself? How and how can people ident- You know, th- what can they look for for things sure. to be able to differentiate in in this particularly? And we can talk. I mean, I can talk in 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 other industries, but I'm particularly you know I'm experienced in the service industry. Got it. Okay, that's right. interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, it's fascinating. It's intriguing. Yeah, it's a, I'm, the the intriguing part is, you know, well, well it's build I, build a better lawyer. Well, this is this is actually what I just spent uh, away for work. This is exactly what I just spent the whole weekend. Oh, really? About. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. God, it I almost sounds that. like we talked before the show. <laughs> but uh, all, all kidding aside, that's yeah. I'm happy to talk about that. It's a, it's a, 
for anybody of you who are on the entrepreneurial path, it's a fascinating journey. Yeah, and and it's like so, and 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 you hear about all these great stories about these companies that that you know they're all they do is they they kind of it's just you know I'm how do I I'll build a better mousetrap? How do I sell it for cheaper? Or how do I how do I make my you know? And it's almost like these like kind of small incremental things that don't really allow growth. Sure, but. It's those ones that say, okay, you know, let, let me, let's take a step back and say, what is it? What is the problem that I'm really trying to solve? What is the, what am I, what am I, what do I want to do? And it's not just, I want to make an estate plan. It's, it, it's an, it's an even bigger question. It's like, I want to, I want to, I want people to give people the peace of mind in such a way that they, that someone else can't do it that same way. Yeah. 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 All right. So let's take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll talk about, uh, your entrepreneurial journey. How to be an entrepreneur on an entrepreneurial journey. In your particular entrepreneurial space. And how many times you can say entrepreneurial in one sentence. Nice. Three, Fantastic. I, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. My FM 101.3, Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, Main After Financial. Tom, back here, carrying our bags for us, making everybody get... Uh, Get good and handsome on the on, on the H Cat uh, television show and uh, loving that H Cat, which is uh, we're we're rebranding at H Cat. I love it. There's a re there's a rebrand it. coming. It's gonna Giddy get up. ready. Stay tuned, Dig everybody. In. Stay tuned, yeah. everybody. Stay they're tuned, they're everybody. a good example of this of of how to you know how to kind of get into get into some uncharted space like in some into some new waters, right? Love it. So before we jump into our entrepreneurial journey, I you uh, gotta check a text or no? I want it. Well, I'm not checking the text. I was down, as I mentioned, away last week, and I'm talking to a uh, a, a woman, uh, surprisingly, at the uh, lobby bar at the hotel we're staying at. <laughs> and uh, the so lobby bar. She, I, for a second, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, what? That's is that a chain? I'm like, oh no, it's not. It's just no, the it's bar a in the bar lobby. in the lobby. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Yeah. And uh, just like it so, sounds. we're standing there, and she says to me, "Where do you practice from?" And I said, "Oh, I practice out of Boston." And she says, "Oh, out of Boston." And I said, "My, my, I have some family up in Boston. Uh, they live right outside of the, of the city." And I said, "Oh, where do they live?" And she said, "They live in." I think it's Hollister is the name of the town. And I said, hey, um, both of you two are so full of it, right? Yeah, I'm, I practice right outside of Boston. Oh, I have family that's right outside of Boston. Allison, right outside 22 of Boston. Miles, 22 miles, as the flow cries, <laughs> as, as the crow right. flies. Seriously. Yep. So uh, can't the get there from here, right? So I said, uh, I said, you know what? I think what you're trying to say is Holliston. And the reason I think you're trying to say that is because that's I live exactly there. exactly where my I practice live there. is. That's exactly. <laughs> so then she told me, so, so shout out to the Freemans. Um, and I owe them a T-shirt. That's why I was asking you about the T-shirt. Because uh, she texts them right away. She says, you're never going to, you know, I'm standing here talking to some joker from Holliston, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And uh, they had they had mentioned that they uh, that they liked the show. Freeman, and, uh, the kids go to Holliston High. I believe, yes. I believe that's exactly right. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get the demographics I, all worked yep, up. I'm familiar with yep. the Freemans. Yep. And yeah. uh, so I said, you know what? I said, I'll get them a T-shirt. I said, and uh, could you ask them if they voted for me? And can I put a sign <laughs> on their line? <laughs> <laughs> Ask them if they voted. Yeah, and if they didn't, then yeah, maybe, they, they, they you know what? Own, well, then they get their own T-shirt. Yeah, right. You, <laughs> you go to www.manmoneyinthelaw.net and you That's can right. order your T-shirt. That's right. Which so, we're on back order right now. Of course is, they are. Oh, of course they are. They've been, they've been a, but we're and ready. It, yeah. And they will. Other, they will only be a hotter commodity as the weather gets better. Oh, so prepare, right. pre uh, yeah. prepare, prepare. Are, are we doing tank tops this uh, tank this tops. round? No, stop, 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 stop. Tank tops, golf shirts. We need some. We need some golf attire. Put one of those on. I was like seven. What, tank top? Tank top. <laughs> yeah. Guns cool. out, sun's out, guns out. I got it. I, got I mean, it. I something. You know, I I want to believe that, but I also can see. I I also can see you like opening up your rolled up bag that you brought down to Key West, right? And, you, and you're like, hmm, it sure is hot out here. And you're like. I don't know anybody down here. Nobody knows me. I tell you. <laughs> Let me throw these, this yellow these, tank top these, on. These mesh tank tops, they don't take a lot of room in your bag. No. Nope. You put them on, and I tell they you. They cool I tell off, you. right? They make, you're very they keep popular. keep the sun off. Very popular. Very everybody popular wants to talk here. to me. Everybody, everybody wants to know if I'm heading, <laughs> yeah, up, for heading, up, yeah, heading up for a drink. Heading up for a drink. Yeah, the bar is upstairs. Yeah, you're heading yeah, up. Yeah, different story. Different story. Yep, that's you right. You know what? Leave the shirt on. Leave the shirt on. You're good. You're good. You're good. So, um, so talking about entrepreneurs. So, you know, the... One of the things that I think as for clients who are, who, if they're, you know, people are prospects who are interested in this concept, um, I think what's important is I think your, I think your why is one of the most important things. If you're talking about what separates be, you right? from the, from your competition, right? Yep. Uh, so, because some, some, some of our competition, if that's what we're talking about, they may not have a why. They may not have a why. 
Well, um, I mean, or the why is the wrong why. It's like yeah. I'm in it. I, I, I want to make a living. I want to make money. Yeah. I want to, you know, I want to blah, blah, blah. I want to support my family and all that stuff. And, and that's all. Th those are all sure. objectives. Those are all things that those are all tasks that need to get completed. Yeah, those right. Are all, those are all but, thing, reasons for doing it. But but, but that's not the that's not what's going to that's not what's going to that's not what's going to drive you to kind of that level where you're 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 going to distinguish yourself from somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And when, I, look, when, I, when I was thinking about going out on my own way back decades ago is what it feels like, when I was working, it, it, at, it, when it, I, it when is. I was working at Fidelity, <laughs> the, 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 one, of the, one of the things that I always wanted to see in the future for my practice, if you will, was this consolidation of the conversations because I think it's just better for clients to be able to have a conversation with, in our case, a law firm that really understands sort of the financial piece of your puzzle right. and can coordinate that with the care, long-term care, short-term care, immediate-term care pieces of somebody's you know, care continuum journey. And, and, and that was really, that is the why of why I wanted to go out and do my own thing. It just, it, it didn't exist anywhere. The, 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 what we wanted to do was to have a conversation around all of the legal, the financial, and the care piece, and it just didn't exist. And so because it didn't exist, we had to create it. Yep. And, and so that, that, that's why we do what we do. I mean, we, we find every one of these conversations is, for the, from a client's perspective, it's a, it's a better experience for the clients, and I think it's a better outcome for them when the people that you're talking to really understand intimately all those components. Well, you're, you guys are that example, right? You guys are the, so, so again, it's like, what's the problem that I'm solving, right? Sure. That's, that's, what, that's what service business, that's what anything does, any type of business. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm sol I, I, you know, I need, to, I need to put a bunch of nails in, in, into, into this board really quickly. Hmm, let's, uh, what, what, or we can use a hammer, that'll take X amount of time, or we can use this new invention called a nail gun. And, you yeah. know, and then, yeah. so, so it, so in your guys' case, it's that it's that, you know, that idea of because the the finance piece, the money piece, the 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 comprehension of that is so important. Where if I go to you know a, a traditional estate planner, and, and I'm not saying that lawyers don't understand this. I'm no, sure that I, I completely. Agree I'm sure there are plenty that do, but do they understand it at the level that somebody who's who's been in the practice who where 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 all of that vernacular, all of the all of the that information, all of that kind of like you know, like jargon that legal or sorry, that financial jargon that people talk about that, that you hear every single day just in at work, like when you're working at a place like Fidelity, uh, you know, like the, the rules of the IRAs, the, you know, the, the, the laws that go along with that, the, well, uh, have, you have a, we have the, a working, the investment, you have a working knowledge of it. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's not just theoretical. It's a, it's, a, and it's not just for your own, you know, it's not just your own thing. It's a working knowledge of how the investment industry works and how your, legal issues and things that we're trying to solve for you dovetail into that financial piece. And 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 so again, you know, we you take the, you know, the 30,000 foot view, what are you trying to do? You're all you're doing, you as a as an estate planner, you as a you as a, in this particular case or in any case, you're giving people peace of mind. Yeah. You know, it's the peace because right because if we said if I never went to an estate planner, and I and I didn't have any type of estate planning. Probably, maybe, most likely, my estate is going to pass to the people that it's supposed to pass to. Correct. But probably, maybe, yeah. you know. I mean, there's there's a there's a strong possibility that it could. Now, how long is it going to take? How what's the what's going to be the you know what what's going to be the pain threshold that's going to happen between you know that point and and this point and that point? Sure. Who knows? But the bottom line is. What you're doing is you're, you, you know, as an estate planner, you're ensuring that you're saying, okay, this is what you want to see happen. This is what, you know, all of your hard work, all of the people that, that, you know, that your estate needs to care for, whether it be your spouse, whether it be your children, whomever, or charities or whatever, we're going to make sure that this happens the way you want it to happen. Yeah. Right. And uh, usually nine out of uh, 99 out of a hundred times, the financial there's there's money involved and there's investments involved oh, or yeah, there's yeah. there's things that are involved with the stock market or there are things that are involved with real estate that if somebody who has a who has a fight like you said like a working knowledge like a like a, a a ground understanding of that financial piece 
that's one less thing. That's that's one less like piece of this that could that could be like, oh, I'm frustrated. I don't understand. It's making me nervous. You know, as the client, you're like, no, no, no. This is how that works. And think about it. Think about it. It's like when you go to the doctor, right? Sure. Like I've always said this, and, and this dates back to, you know, Dr. Dr. Ron Tijan, who did my knee surgery when I was in high school, right? He was the cockiest guy I've ever met. He was like, because I'm, I'm like sitting there, I'm like, am I ever going to be able to play football again? And he looks at me, he goes, of course you are. Right. And he, like, he's like, he goes, I'm the best surgeon in the state of Connecticut. I'm the best orthopedic surgeon. And he's like, and he's like I'm going to fix your knee and you're going to be fine. And I'm like, that's all I wanted to hear. Right? All, yeah, that's yeah, all, yeah. And, and it's the same thing. And, and and so so my you know now again who knows you know anything could happen. But in the case of that uh, in in your case as the estate planner, but also like having that strong financial understanding, that's what puts people's mind at ease. Well, we we can. I mean, when we sit down and talk, and and it doesn't hurt because you kind of know what you're doing because it, it it helps you to kind of piece things that maybe other guys wouldn't do wouldn't be as 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 smooth or streamlined to do that well i mean we 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 see your entire picture different i i think we see it differently than somebody else might look at Did it. you say and, the picture or picture well the picture oh i thought you were talking your, about the picture because no, i was not the the picture, <laughs> different picture but we see we we when we when we see your intake sheet and when we look at the financial makeup of your portfolio the first thing we're thinking about right away is what looks, what doesn't look right on this, right? Because, you know, again, we've talked about this before. When my, my first couple of years of Fidelity, and I started working at Fidelity in 91. Hmm. When I started working at Fidelity, I was on the phone, and this was when, the, this was when things were taken off in the mutual fund world, yep. right? The, I mean, that, that, that was when, right, the Roth IRA was just coming around, this and was it was the, just like, this, here, bro get brokerage ready. Brokerage accounts were a big deal, yeah. right? You, you remember, when, yeah. when, you, when you first... When Fidelity first was in the in the trading game on the stock side, Fidelity gave you a certain number of trades. Remember, you used to get a certain yeah. number of quotes. Yeah. Right. I mean, people watch stock quotes now. You pull your phone out, you get a stock quotes. No big deal, yeah. right? Back, Back then, then, you had to pay for it. We had Quotron machines in the middle. We were sharing this Quotron machine, and if you came in and you wanted quotes, we checked how many quotes you had available yep. to you, and if you didn't have any quotes available to you, you know how you got more quotes? You bought them. You had to either buy them or you did a trade. Yeah. You had to do a trade yeah. to get more quotes. To see, yeah, right? yeah. Guys are calling in for Coca-Cola trades and Lehman Brothers trades, and they're calling for GE trades. Call for all these quotes, right? All these quotes. It's like, dude, you're on the phone with something. Sir, I, I can't give you that quote. You're out of quotes. Yeah. I, I want you to get a quick What do I need to do? I, I, you're, out, you're out of quotes. I can do it. You're going to make a trade. I'll, do, I'll give you some more quotes. Me. I mean, that is like laughable now. You mean it's thousands, laughable now, it is, right? It's, right, but that's was that was the that industry. Was, that was the industry, right? right? I've probably taken 175 calls a day. Hi, I'm calling because I have a question about this, mm -hmm. right? One question would be send me a brochure. Another question would be I'm leaving my company and I got $800,000 and I have no idea what to do with it. And then we would get to work, right? So, so we. Let me see. <laughs> hold on a second, right? It's like in it's like in boiler room. Like you put them on hold, oh. get everybody in, right? Put them on speakerphone. Yeah. Oh, let me get you an application <laughs> because the application that I'm going to get you don't get it from the guy next to me because that this application has my initials on Have it. Have you ever not heard of the Fidelity Contra Fund? Yes, that's right. I mean, so going I mean, against the grain. And, and this was and this was before Fidelity had a million funds. Yeah. Right. I mean, so. All of these inventions, all these things that you now not take for granted, but all the things that seem well, so, so commonplace. mainstream yeah, exactly. in the investment world, you know, we watched all of that stuff come to life. I'm not saying I was there at the beginning. That's not that's my that's not my point. <laughs> if you were there but, at the beginning, you wouldn't be here right no, now. No, <laughs> that's exactly right. That's exactly. Right. But 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 what? But those things were a big deal, right? And seeing these things come together, and seeing all the tools and all the the product development and the way all these things come together. You know, donor advised funds. I remember when they rolled it out, mm -hmm. right? Donor advised funds. That was a whole separate animal at Fidelity, right? How doing all these things. So all these things, and of course they continue, obviously the, the, the industry continues to develop, but we, we bring that eye to a meeting with clients to say, I know we're gonna talk about your estate plan, that's important, we're gonna talk about that, let's talk about goals and but when you talk about your wealth, when you talk about how to pass your wealth, we understand what you mean yeah. 
by wealth. It's not just well, we money. understand what wealth is That's for right. one. Yeah, it's we understand just, it's, what it's money. I get it. it's yeah. money, but we see it with a different eye. Yeah, and and so so take the two the two examples, right? So you have somebody who doesn't get it, who doesn't understand. I'm like, I have no idea, you know. And you right. hear this all the time, like, I I have no idea how this works, right? Yeah, you know. And people have explained this to me. I know the difference between a Roth and a traditional IRA, and I I, I yeah, and stocks and and capital gains tax and all that stuff. I I, I understand that. Right. And then there's the people who real who who actually do understand it, who right. actually who know. And and in both circumstances, they appreciate somebody who knows what they're talking about. That's right. So when so if somebody does understand it and you say, no, guy, listen, if you want to if you want to transfer, if you want to pass on your estate and you have, you know, these two qualified accounts and this non-qualified account, let's let's do the math on this and say, yeah. okay, so is this if you have three children, would it be better off for the for to pass on maybe the more of the qualified account to this particular, you know, knowing what their situation is, we, and and it could and because you understand that and because you know the difference between one versus the other, and you know the tax implications and you know all of that, all of the you know the the different you know like, like or the rules of like in a, in a beneficiary situation, you know like how and how those things change because you understand that it 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 may it'll put that person like oh yeah I didn't think of that but I right. thought I did I thought I knew that right. because I'm you know I study this I'm smart or I work for fidelity right you sure. know and there yeah. you go so, so. And, and and we work with people all the time who have great advisors right and people will come in and say I love my advisor fantastic yeah fantastic that's great because it makes you know things what? easy it makes things easy and guess what I speak his language yeah right or he speaks my language or she speaks my language I understand what they're trying to do and I'm not trying to get in the way of that I'm saying we can put our heads together and, it, and you'll have a better, I think you have a better outcome mm -hmm. because everyone's on the same page. And I'm always very respectful of other suggestions to say, look, I, that's either A, I don't, don't really know what that's kind of trying to achieve, or B, that makes perfect sense. I mean, you know, and any number of other things. Well, you think about it, right? The financial plan and the estate plan, they, 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 I mean, they're, they're married in they so many are ways, intertwined. right? Intertwined. Yeah. So, intertwined. So, when, when, you know, if you have an advisor or a financial person who's like, who's, who's giving you, who's building your financial plan, like the first step of financial planning, like if, if, I'm, if I get a new client, is I look at what's, what's your plan right now? What yeah. is, what's your existing plan? Yep. Right. And if someone says, you know, take a look at this, I'll be like, okay, show me what you got. And if your financial plan looks good, Right, and there's and you're like, oh well, I you know we invested our 401k, we put money in the bank. I'll tell you, I'm like, this looks good. Yeah, this you know, can we help you? I don't know. I mean, maybe if we manage this or that, but but as far as like the planning piece of it, there's there are a lot of things I wouldn't change. And right. so in your case, when you have uh, when you have somebody who's who's buttoned up financially and like, hey, I want to do my estate plan, it's almost like a, it, it's almost turnkey because yeah. then you can say, hey, when because and and again. I go back to my 30,000 foot view. I'm just want to, you want people to be happy. You want people to, to have a peace of mind. Yeah. So when they say, oh, when, when they're, when their advisor who, or their financial person who they really like, and we've had this guy for 20 years, when he says, your lawyer's right, you, this is exactly what you should do. Then you're like, wow, I feel good. You and, know, they, and we've, and we've done that. And we've said to people, look, you're going to go back and talk to your investment people. What we're doing right now is counterintuitive to what they're probably going to suggest you do, but here's why it's counterintuitive. We don't just say, we know, they don't know, they don't know, we know. We'll tell people, look, this is why it's, we're solving a particular problem it. by doing it this way. And this problem, the solution to this problem is different than the conventional thing that you want. And if you want unconventional results, we might have to do things a little bit unconventionally. And so that's why we're doing it. So we, we talk about the entrepreneur. That's what put me on this path was the ability to say, look, I think bringing these all together and, and having the ability to kind of size these up, I, I think this is, I think this is, what, this is what I want to do. This is yep. my vision. Yep. This is how we think we can help clients and I think help them in a way that, that helps secure what they're trying to accomplish for their families, which is the same thing that you're trying to secure and the same thing that I'm trying to secure. So th this is, this, this really hits home and is very personal for us. Yeah. So, so you, you found that space, right? You, and, and are you the only people that have ever done this? I'm sure you aren't. Nope, I'm sure, I'm sure that not. there's, nope. I'm sure that, but in, in, but then you kind of, then when you think about your space even more and you're like, okay, so we're, you know, you're in a, you're right outside of Boston, you know, <laughs> 
I'm rolling my eyes right for there. those of you on the radio. The so, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Um, but but so you're in a you're in a, a, a small suburban you know Commonwealth yep. of Massachusetts town, and you're you're and and again, but you have a. It's not like all of your clients are from from Holliston. I mean, no. you have a, you know you you have a you have a, a big a, a relatively good sized Boston footprint. You know because you're. That's where you're from, right? You you know you're from you, you know. Yeah, you we of... we have a, we have a me, we, our our footprint. I would say conventionally uh, is Metro West. I yeah. mean, we have clients in Newburyport. I have clients on the Vineyard. About our, if you're asking us, you know, where's our sort of uh, where, where's our footprint? Our footprint is Metro West. We purposely kind of don't foray into. I mean, we'll, we'll certainly go to the city if we have to do mm-hmm. that, and if a client wants us to do that, but it's not a place that we target to kind of get our 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 our, our clientele from. It just tends to be geographically different animal. So then, so as as the as an as the entrep- as you're building your shop, right? You're saying, how am I going di- to? What are what are the other ways I'm going to differentiate myself? So I have this I have this financial knowledge, right? So that's one. The other piece of it, and again, I'm I'm speaking for you, but just as kind of an yeah. observer, an oh, outsider yeah. looking, yeah. is that is that your your approach, your approach is a very personal approach. It's a very, it's a, it's not a, it's not a, a corporate like approach. It's not like here, we're going to, we'll email you this, right. this, this form, fill this out. And then we can do like a, a phone call meeting first. And then, but you, yours, you, you operate much differently. You guys are, are very, and again, it comes back to that, you know, and again, I, I see this as the, the 30,000 foot. Yeah. We're by no means, vo- do. we're by no means a volume <clears throat> shop. No, nope. absolutely not. Um, you know, we like, much like you guys, we go out and we find our clients one at a time. Yeah. Right? One and at a time, word of mouth, advertising that we do, some online stuff. You know, we have a whole host of marketing initiatives that we're always working on. No, but on. I'm talking about once someone becomes a client or once someone oh. is, is a potential to become a client, the way it works is, come on in. Come on in. Yes. Come on. And, and you've said this a hundred times on the show. You're like, let's let's meet, right? The, you know, this, and we say the same thing. Like, let's meet to see if we're a good fit. Not yep. you're a good fit for me. Or I'm a good fit for you, but we're a good fit for one another, yeah, right? And yeah. that's a and and that piece of it is it, you're you're kind of establishing almost like this kind of this this connection that that because you want this to be an, an ongoing, it's not a one-time transactional thing, you know. Nope. Even though you know you may do a, st- a state plan for somebody, it's we and we said this a hundred times. Like once you get Marsden Law, then you got a lawyer. Like that's right. my lawyer, right? right? You know, and I, and it's your lawyer. You can ask him about, and of course, in your case, you can ask him about a lot of things. Like sure. Not sports, not not well. There's things you can't ask him about, right? I I never asked Jay about you know, sports. You know, he asked me about music. Yeah, we're talking about music. Well, we well, music's okay. You can get cigars. You can cigars. Definitely we love talking all, about cigars all day long, all day, yeah. every day. Yep. Have you ever heard of whiskey? Have you um, ever? I've heard. I've heard the name. I heard the name. <laughs> I've, I've heard yeah. it. Yeah, I've heard where. It, I've yeah. heard reference to it. Yeah. I've heard reference to it. Yeah, I've heard yep. it. I heard it taste. It has its own particular yep. taste. Yep. Yep. No, but that's that's what. So so once they once you establish that you know that relationship, that's. That's what you are. That, that's the goal, that's right? right? That's, that's right. the goal because that relationship is gonna uh, is gonna achieve all of the objectives. It's gonna it's gonna enable people to feel good about sure. what their estate plan. It's gonna enable feel, people to feel good about the financial piece of their estate plan, and that's. And, and again, that's all. That's all you're doing. Well, you want that's what ma- you want. You want them to match up, right? You don't want one zigging and you don't want the other one zagging. And so we we try to tell people, look, let's coordinate these as best we can. You're, you know, there's there's paperwork. We tell people all the time, there's always paperwork, yep. right? So we're going to sign paperwork. You're going to fill paperwork out. We're going to draft documents. You're going to sign them. You may or may not have um, a relationship, uh, a, a very sort of one-on-one personal relationship. Your financial guy might not be local. Your financial person might not be local. So you might have paper. You know, we're we're and we we're comfortable with all that. Yeah. We we you know we've done it. We filled out countless forms, and so you know having these, helping somebody kind of get this thing done, is is where we that's 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 our why. That's a, you know it's pulling it all together. That's your why. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come right back. Yeah. Let's wrap this thing up. Yeah. Uh, give us. Uh, Give us a couple minutes. Listen to some commercials. They're probably really good. Um, but you're on my FM one hundred point three. Yeah, buy something. Buy, <laughs> buy something. Not everything. Don't spend it all in one weekend. You're also on Hollis and Cable Access TV. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. And we're back. My FM one hundred one point three. Jay Marsden with the Mars and Law Group. John Drohan, main effort financial. Tom Harmon with the uh, Pro Am yep. PGA. Tom. Tom uh, Taylor beginner course. Yeah. Not a sponsor <laughs> yet, um, but uh, but they could be. They could be. Um, so what about what about you? I mean, are you guys you guys run an equally unique, hands-on, personal operation right down the street, um, and 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 that's you know you know it's funny. So how how long have I known you? 
20 years, 20 years? No, more, 20 years. 20 years. So when I was working at that small mutual fund company in town, th that's all roads lead. When you're at Fidelity, all roads lead to Fidelity. Like, mm. For the most part, you don't even really believe that there's other companies that even exist, right? They, they, I they, mean, see, you see them, but you're not for sure that they exist. I'm not going to use, not for the, sure not gonna they use the word. I'm not going to use the word indoctrinate, <laughs> but that's kind of what it feels like, right? Yeah. You know, all roads lead to. to well, to you, the, you, you got to believe in what you're because you're selling, right? Yes. That's the whole thing. It's yes. what you're doing. Yep. You're selling, yep. right? Yep. Yep. So you got to believe in it, yep. right? Yep. And they, and they do a great job. And and so, as a as an advisor working for them in the city. You think like if it doesn't happen down here, it doesn't happen. It ain't anywhere. happening. Yeah, good and, luck. And yeah. and I would absolutely, you know, having moved, you know, again, just a little bit out of Boston by moving to Hollister, just, just, just a smidge, just yep, outside, just a smidge, the, yep, outside yep. the uh, walking distance. 02129, all of a sudden, <laughs> you realize, holy smokes, there's an entire economy out nah. here. There's actually people making it happen out yep. here, right? And providing, you know, the types of services that you guys provide on a completely different level yeah and it's a different species different really. species yeah. different business model different it's a whole but that's you know that that's what you guys are doing down there and it's it's not like going to fidelity it's different nope it's different, different and 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 it's supposed to be and it has to be right yes. because because there are a lot of there's so many things with fidelity that we just simply can't compete with yep. right Understood. i mean fidelity just has they have more people they have more they have more volume they have more they get analysts some, they get some money they get yeah some they money. have they have more money they have they have a greater ability to advertise they have a much bigger footprint so so we don't even try it's right. like and and again and and for all the right reasons right so so in our case you know our our kind of blue ocean our our space was you know and i kind of learned this you know you learn this as you you know from the business you know and, and you know when i came into the business i was i was like insurance and securities guy right I'm, again i was brought in by the great mike d and Zaris, right and back you know those and he was a, a pure insurance guy that was a different time that was a it was a different it was a different time and yes. right and we've said it before life insurance is the hammer where are the nails let me get to work right yep. so so in that insurance and again the insurance mindset those guys you know and i'm not knocking them at all it's just that they were everything was sales it was all like they they made their living hunting like they had to they had it was like a, i i sold you a life insurance Insurance policy and then I got paid on it and that was it and then it right. was done right the, there was there was some service involved and that service was kind of like an ancillary thing that would also that would often sometimes en enable the, a client to continue to do business but but, they, but, that, but that was a tough business that was it was a, a tough, very tough, tough business. business and you, Go ahead. I was going to say it, it was the business where you you this is back you know and, and I didn't do this but it was you know the generation before me they had to go and collect the premiums. Oh, you beat me to it. Yeah. I was just, my father my father was a John Hancock guy from yeah. a window of time, and he would say this was my territory, and he get to yeah he'd say I remember selling the premiums, and then I remember going back and collecting yeah all I sell the sell the contract and then go back and collect all the premiums yeah a different animal different and, animal and and so. You know, you kind of see that, and you know, now we laugh about it. Like, who would do that? Who would do that? But when you think about it, that's one of those things that that kind of enabled that business to be able to continue and enabled these guys to stay in business because it was all based on personal relationships. Yeah. And that personal relationship was, hey, Tom, I'm coming to your house. Hey, it's I'm time to get the time to pay the insurance guy. And oh, by the way, what's this? Oh, I see you got a new car. What's happening? Oh, I oh I let's do your new, I just do your insurance. I just needs changed, analysis. I changed jobs. <laughs> You might need some more life insurance. You might need a whole life insurance. Do you know? Do you, do you, and then the great line was, "Do you care about your family? If yeah. you and you know, do you do you care about your? Do you care about the well-being? You're you look like a guy that you're cares about the well-being guy, right? of your family. Right? I'm looking in the camera. Do you care about? Because if if you're the guy that I think you are. Then why wouldn't you? And then and then it was always like you know slide. Why wouldn't you just let me? We'll handle all the details. And they look right, and you're like. Of course, I have to sign. This. So yeah. yes. So, but that idea of you know you know where where it was this you know sale 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 sale. When I first came in the business, that's kind of what I learned, and that concept of sales versus service or versus kind of relationship. Well, they building, broke it apart. Well, they did, and and what we learned again, I I kind of learned this as I grew sure. up in the business, is that you know, and, and again, we we gravitated towards the securities and the money management piece just because we felt like that's you know that was we were interested in that yep, that's what we sure. wanted to do yep. so as as we kind of grew up in the business that whole idea of service and and again it's all about keeping people happy and i say this you know i've been saying this for years my job is to make is to make my clients happy like yep. make them happy period.
period. Yep. And now how they're happy is, you know, is, are they going to, cause I tell them like, you guys aren't going to make, you know, 30% every single year. Just, it's not going to happen. You're not right. going to, you're not going to have these like tremendous returns. However, what you are going to have is you're going to have the ability, your, the financial ability to achieve all of your goals. And you're going to, and we're going to build your plan and direct you and coach you and guide you and manage your money and be able to do all this stuff. That's going to, that's going to, with luck is going to enable you to achieve all of these life goals to get to that estate plan that you're that you're you know that you're going to set up and pass on from you know win the game of life well and we've talked before on this show about how the changes in technology have leveled the playing field in a lot of ways yep. are they exactly level no but are they very much more level than they were 1991, sure. when I started shagging calls at Fidelity and the technology with your was Quotron, what? the Quotron <laughs> machine that you were fighting for with three other guys in uh, the bullpen, trying to get a you know trying to get a quote. Back uh, off, Jay. You know, I mean that's you know that's that's that the, the technology now added for an independent advisor is completely different, mm -hmm. and it gives you the ability to really compete. You know, you you can compete on a on a product perspective a lot better. And service is where you separate yourself from the rest. So of the, there you go, right? The, so the crowd. So 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 now, like, kind of, you know, you fast forward to twenty twenty three, and there's, like I said, there's hundreds of thousands of guys just like us, and they have, and there's some of them that are better at technology than yeah. we are. There's some of them that are, and and you know, as the as the landscape starts to change, as the you know, as as the you know, the next generations of people who are just who are so attuned to technology, where unlike you and I, where we're like, you know, we understand technology, but we're not like our kids. No, our kids, no, no, no. our kids are growing up in a much more advanced, and more like fast paced technological world than we grew up in. So there's going to be, you know, kids like young younger advisors that are that are way more savvy with with their with with. Well, and there's a ton of technology, technology out there. To to your point. That appeals to them. Yep. That's different technology. They they they, they 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 see what you and I do as a throwback. Yep. Right. Why would I ever have to talk to somebody to make a trade? Yep. Why would I ever want to do that? As opposed to, I got a guy, I got a gal. Right. They're going to make a trade for me. I just going to make a phone call and do what I got to do. Yeah. And and that becomes either that's either a maturity thing where you decide at some point that my situation has matured to the point that I need the service model that an, that an entrepreneurial shop like Main Effort brings to the table. Or I'm just going to go on a different path, and 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 we started this whole thing off about you know there's all kinds of competitors and clients have all kinds of choices, so you're going to make the one that's the best fit for you, and that could be a whole bunch of options. Yeah. So so for for somebody like us, where we say okay, you know we're kind of in this, you know, do we want to get in a technology competition with some with a younger generation? And the answer probably is no. Like no. I could just because I I don't think we we will be able to to kind of go step for step with them. So so the so that begs the question of how do we differentiate ourselves? How do we make ourselves more valuable right. to the clients that we're trying to, to attract? And if the clients we're trying to attract are the same clients, right. then we say okay, so this this particular shop will provide you this technology and they'll, and they'll school you up on the technology. Yeah. Our shop will provide you technology, but there'll be a different, it will we'll come at it from a different aspect. Well, you'll understand the technology, but there'll be a different piece. And this right. is how, and you asked the question, this is what we do, right? Sure. So, yeah. so our ability to kind of keep, keep pace technology wise and, and, and provide that technological piece that our clients are asking for, we do that, but it, but then to, the capability to be able to morph that that thirty thousand foot view of our job is to keep the clients happy and the way you do that the way you do it the way we do it the way that all the the the, the good advisors you know I'm kind of assuming that you're a good advisor I'm a good advisor yeah, yeah. but all the good ones, they the way they do it is they they understand they they get to know their clients and that's the true value right the the, the value is you know we have one hundred and seventy seven clients one hundred seventy seven yeah. family clients. They call up. I know every single one of them. Right. Right. They, I I know them, and 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 my office knows them. Sure. And and the way we the way we manage them, the way we we pass the information in the office, and we when we have like our office meetings, we say, okay, this is what's going on with the Joneses. The Joneses are doing this, 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 right. and this. This is what you know. These are their goals. So everybody understands it. So if somebody in my office has to provide service or help somebody, they have a, a general understanding of what these people are trying to do. That's right. And 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 you know you're not going to get that. I mean, there's somebody at Fidelity who has a database who's punching your information in there, and you may hook on with somebody who might know who you are, might know a little bit about you, depending on your relationship with Fidelity, yeah. right? And the further up the food chain you move, they may dedicate a person 
to you, but even, you know, that person, that could be a different animal. That's a different level of engagement. My, uh, my last uh, gig at Fidelity, I had 700 clients. Yeah. Seven clients. I probably had, I don't know, close to a billion dollars of client, managed, client money that we were babysitting to try to make, you know, everything happen for those clients. That, that's a numbers game, and that gets hard. And, and you have certain degree of relationships and certain people we knew really well, other people we didn't know so well because they just that's, they, they wanted more of a hands-off. They didn't need well, a lot of babysitting. It's, it's also probably a different, a different, uh, a different model, right? You're, you're the Fidelity advisor. I mean, we're not knocking the Fidelity people no, no, at no, all, no. but they're, they're, not, they're not a financial, they're not a, a, a registered investment advisor. They're not a, they're not a financial planning shop. Their job is to, is to try and provide you the best investment advice and the best investment products, because that's what Fidelity does. Sure. They sell products to, to help you achieve your goals. And they have some of those offerings inside yep. Fidelity where they can hook you up and they'll do some of that stuff. But that's different. But right? it's a different it's, animal. It's a different right. animal. And, uh, and, and that's something that you you know, you got to be comfortable with. you got to know what you're getting into. We used to compete all the time with small ind independent advisors, and they would say, what are the differences? They said, well, you know, the difference is that they're at, you know, and we rattle off all the pros and cons of everything and then say to the client, you know, make it, make a choice, call your shot, see what, see what works for you, see what works for you. They're different animal. It's a different, and, and, and the relationship is different and the personal nature of the relationship is different. You know, we can do things, I know you and I've talked about this before, we can do things, we can build a team of advisors that you can talk to your clients about, that you can give a name to, that you can bring people in the fold, that at some, at bigger shops, they just have different rules. Yep. The LPLs of the world, the Schwabs of the world, the Fidelities of the world, they just have different rules around what they'll allow you to do and not do. And, and, and when you're, you think that those rules exist for everybody, and then you find out that when you change, you know, your, 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 your job, or you change your, 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 your career plan, that, hold on, I, I thought I was. I thought I couldn't do any of that. Mm. Now I can't. I'm finding out I can't do that. So again, th you know, th there's there's a different approach for different people, and you just got to figure out what do you need. Yep. You know, what do you need? And if an if a, if an entrepreneurial shop is a, a bit more of a of a fit for what you're looking for, then that's that's yeah. That's and and we, to be we mentioned out. right. We mentioned before, there's some people that just they, they don't need it. They they like I just do my estate plan for me and I'm good. Or yep. do my you know here's my you know, I, I I know what I want to invest in. I know what I want. Yep. Right? I know what I know. I, I've done enough research and and that's and that's great, right? And those are those those are people that that you know they know what they want they they have their own they they understand like kind of what their needs and what they're you know and they right. and maybe we you could say well maybe they don't understand but for the most part you make the assumption that they do and then there's people that they they want to again it all comes back to i want to feel good about what i'm doing yes. i want to feel i want to i want to feel good about it. i want to feel like i'm not getting i'm not paying too much for it i'm not like i'm you know they i want to feel like what i'm getting i'm getting value from this and it's going to help me to get to where i want to go yeah i'm going to feel like i'm making progress towards my goals and i and i need to you know and that's 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 what a lot of this comes down to is mm -hmm. you know who who am i the most comfortable with and who do i feel like is really going to help me get to my goal that's and the, and that goal could be I mean, any number of things that, that we've talked about on the show with get your estate plan buttoned up, get your retirement plan buttoned up, figure out something, you know, that's, that's what, uh, and, and again, that's the type of, again, that's where you go for things that are different. Fidelity never, never touched on any of those things, no. you know, the, the long-term care piece and things like that. That was something that just, just not in their wheelhouse for right. a whole host of reasons, right? That's, and there's, a, and, and there's a lot of good reasons why that works. And then if you're looking for more than that, you got to look elsewhere. And that's, you know, that's what having a relationship with something somebody who's a more entrepreneurial mindset you're going to be in a different space there you go that's it man that's, that's it all, it's all, all right done. you learned it right here in money in right. the law my fm right. 101.3 frantically taking tom's, notes over there uh, he's, he's so like happy. Shake, we're shaking his hand you we're know, so glad you're hand. back tommy all right tom's back all right so uh, we'll see everybody next week yeah money we will. my fm right. 101.3 good football this weekend make sure you watch it TV. yeah watch my giants Roof and Jack. tonight tonight right. upset the eagles love it all right we'll see all everybody right. next week have a great week